Well, tonight, a stunning victory for homeowners engaged in an environmental battle with a powerful politician. The Blairsville City Council halted deliveries of potentially toxic landfill liquid to its wastewater treatment plant. The vote followed an I-team investigation about a powerful state senator striking the delivery deal with very little publicity. Senior I-team reporter Dale Russell has the latest. So that will be the end of it, Jody? That'll be the end of it. It took only minutes to end a year's worth of environmental controversy. The Blairsville City Council in North Georgia voted to stop all deliveries of landfill wastewater to their local treatment plant. Is that a success for your group? I think it's a major success. Doyle Lively of the Lake Notley Improvement Association couldn't believe his ears as he listened to the council meeting on Zoom. I was absolutely elated and my wife and I were sitting there together and we were high-fiving and we just hope that our mute button was working. This is how it happened. Around May of 2019, powerful state Senator Steve Gooch, who represents this district, proposed trucking leachate from a landfill 35 miles away in Forsyth County to the Blairsville wastewater treatment plant. Leachate is when rain mixes with landfill waste and creates a sort of toxic soup from all the decomposing chemicals and waste products. By law, it has to be removed and treated. You may get pesticides from people's homes. You may, may get carpet scraps, uh, all these kinds of things that contain chemicals. It would be a revenue stream for the wastewater department. Blairsville Mayor Jim Conley said he did it for the five cents a gallon Senator Gooch's company would pay the city. Is politics at play at all in this decision? Absolutely not. Senator Gooch would not do an interview with us, but issued a statement explaining his longtime wastewater treatment company, TWA, has been traveling the state, offering leachate removal services to landfills across Georgia. He says his payments to Blairsville were based solely on market rates. I'd like to make that motion that we uh, discontinue that process. Last week, the Blairsville City Council met for the first time since our report aired. The council voted unanimously to halt all leachate deliveries. Mayor Conley offered no explanation. Senator Steve Gooch wrote us saying he halted shipments due to lake owners' concerns, in spite of meeting all federal and state water quality standards and EPA laboratory testing, which found no evidence of contamination. Gooch added he has no intention of revisiting this issue in the future. I think uh, we have uh, had our voices heard. Lake Notley homeowners who met with Senator Gooch wrote letters to the local newspaper editor, put up a Facebook page, and even ran ads are cautiously optimistic. We want to take a, a you know a long-term view on, on this, and this is a uh, this body of law behind me here is, is very pristine and it, uh, uh, we want to see it uh, stay that way. Lake Notley homeowners say they've won the battle, but not the war. They plan on fighting the city's application to the EPD to increase the amount of wastewater that is released from the plant from 400,000 gallons to a million gallons a day, an application that includes leachate. Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.